How many of you are guilty of doing this? You're rinsing the dishes off, and while you're doing it, getting ready to put them in the dishwasher, you leave the faucet running all the time. You know what you're doing? You're wasting water and sending money right down the drain. Also, a lot of times you're using hot water, so you're also wasting energy. We've got a device that you're going to love. It's called Aqualean, and it allows you to operate the faucet without using your hands. It's going to help you to save a lot of money. Probably it'll pay for itself in savings over a period of time. And it's a do-it-yourself project. You're going to love it. It's so easy to do. Now, I told you it was going to be an easy thing. Here are all the parts that you're going to need. These two units hook up to the hot and cold underneath the sink. This is the bar that you lean against to activate the water. And here's the little trigger valve. The hardest thing about it is going to be getting it under that doggone sink. But let's get after it. Now here's the bar that you lean against. It fits right here underneath the bottom of the countertop. In order to get the pin in through here so that it can meet up with the triggering mechanism, we're going to have to drill a hole. And to help you do that, they provide this little bushing here. You put it flush up against the bottom of the countertop, push your drill through there, and that's going to give you a nice straight hole. Now that we've got the hole drilled, we need to mount the push bar right here on the front like we showed. Before we do that though, I want to show you something else, and that is how this hooks up. The point goes through the hole, and this little trigger mechanism just slides in place. It's going to be a little bit of a tight fit in there. It's not going to be quite that easy, but that's what happens. Right now, all we need to do is put this in place, and then we just shoot a couple of screws in there, and we're ready to go under the sink. Now that we got the push bar fastened in place, we need to get up in under the sink here with this trigger valve and see if we can get it hooked up. Boy, that's crowded. Oh, this is really a tight squeeze. Mm, I believe I've got it now, though. Yeah. Now we've got the water supply cut off underneath the sink here. It's recommended that we remove the old supply lines and put in new ones. This is going to help us to avoid any kind of a leak problem later on. This is the main valve to the Aqualine system, and we're just going to take the new supply line and turn it on there until it's hand tight, and then we're going to take a wrench or a pair of pliers and go ahead and tighten it a couple more turns, and that ought to do it. Now, when we get the other one attached, we're going to go in here and remove these old supply lines. Now, if we get this last old supply line out of there, we can now take the Aqualine unit and put it right up there. It's going to be easy to install because we've got this wing nut situation here, which means you can put it right on up there by hand. After we get this done, we'll get it attached down to the bottom, and we'll be ready to turn the water back on and find out if it really does work. Well, we've got everything hooked up in under there. We've got the water turned back on. We've got the hoses out of the way, and it looks pretty neat in under there. But let's see if it really does work. Hey, how about that? No hands. One thing I want to tell you is that you keep your faucet turned on all the time. Only time that it'll come back on with water, however, is when you push on it. Another device that they have here is a lock. In case you're filling up the whole sink or a big pitcher, you push in on the lock. And it keeps running until you want it to stop, and then just hit the bar again. If you'd like more information, contact us on the internet. It's michaelholligan.com.